All right, let me tell you, this society is fucking us. You heard me right. This society is not motivating us or this society is not putting us in the right track. Let me tell you why, right? I have seen this society celebrating wrong things. There are a lot of things overrated. However, I want those, those things to be underrated and those things that are underrated should be overrated. Okay? And because of this society, what is wrong is what we are considering as right, which is wrong. Okay? Let's take an example of, you know, buying a car. People are celebrating this, which is of liability. Now let me tell you what is liability. Anything that takes money out of your pocket. Anything that takes money out of your pocket is liability. You guys are getting it? Anything that puts money into your pocket is an asset. Okay, now let me tell you whether car is a liability or an asset. I am sure you know it by now. Car every month it expects you to pay EMI. You will have to pay some sort of down payment. There are lot of maintenance costs that are involved. Yes or no? Now, do you want these reasons to celebrate this car? We are celebrating it. Now that doesn't mean I am asking you not to buy a car. No, I am not saying that. I am okay you buying the car. However, if you have the enough money, if you have met all your requirements in the, in, and you have a lot of income sources, that's when buying a car is mandatory. You can buy and enjoy your life. But if you belong to middle class and you wanted to celebrate this, I know a lot of society celebrates this, a lot of people in my area, they come home and give us a sweet saying that my younger son got a car, my elder brother or my uncle got a car and they distribute sweets in the colony and we are celebrating this. Now what happens is, what happens is people will set buying car as a goal now. Instead of setting, you know, becoming IIS as a goal, becoming a software engineer as a goal, becoming an entrepreneur as a goal, buying a car becomes the goal, which is wrong. And that is what this society is doing, right? That's why I'm telling you, this society is screwing us. This society is giving us wrong directions. And this society has overrated buying a car, which, is, which should have been underrated actually. All right. We also celebrate a lavish lifestyle, lavish, lavish lifestyle, which is not necessary. There are a lot of celebrities who maintain a very simple lifestyle, and there are a lot of middle class people who live very lavishly, which doesn't even make any sense. And that is happening because of this society, which is wrong. All right. Now let me tell you what that needs to be celebrated okay you have to celebrate financial freedom financial freedom should be celebrated why if you have this financial freedom even if there is no job even if there's no money coming to your way you are still able to survive all right this should have been overrated what society is doing? Nobody tells you, you know, where did they buy plots? Nobody tells you how did they buy a car. People celebrate car, but then they never tell you how they got money from, where they got money and all of that. This society always celebrating liabilities. But whereas I want you to celebrate asset. Buying an asset should be a goal and this should be celebrated. Why? Because when you buy, buy an asset that gives money into your pocket and that money gives you financial freedom. When there's no job, when there's no money, you're able to survive. Imagine you don't have a job, you have a car, you still have to pay EMI, which is overrated. 
I hope you guys are getting it. So celebrate financial freedom. Also celebrate good health. I've never seen anybody, you know, celebrating good health. Let's say I got a six pack and I've never seen anybody celebrating it. Somebody got into a good shape. I've seen nobody celebrating it. Now, what is society celebrating? Society is celebrating all these overrated things. Society is celebrating liabilities. No, I want you to celebrate assets, right? Ask this question to yourself. Did anyone tell you what assets that they have? How much gold do they own? How many stocks do, do they have? How many rental properties that they have? Nobody tells you all of that. All they tell you is their liability. Buying a car or they wear all this clothes, lavish lifestyle. You get to see that. But now let me end this video with this. Wealth is something that you don't see. Right? Now you see a car. That's not a wealth. Wealth is something that you don't see. There are a lot of millionaires in this society. And they live a very normal life. And if you belong to a middle class, wait until you get a financial freedom, then enjoy lavish lifestyle. And that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe.